Hello, Warrior Fusion. It's myself, Mr. Adams, and my good friend, Mr. Crosley, here teaching an amazing class for you guys. Um, it's going to be a ton of fun. We're going to let this timer run dry, and then we will start our class. Uh, I hope you guys are ready. Let me know when you hop in. You can comment. It's to the side for me. It's probably down below for you guys or one of those places. And uh, just let me know who we're working with. Do you have any little people? Yeah, do you have any? It's great to see you guys and actually be back in the studio because it's been so long since I've been here. And I haven't been absent from the studio since I was like 10 for longer than two weeks. It's so weird, but I'm really glad to be oh, back here true. teaching with you guys. Morning, Mrs. V or good afternoon, Mrs. Mania. Good to see you. Good afternoon, Mr. Fiani. Glad you guys made it today. Yep. Joey Dillon Jasmine so far. Hello, hello, hello. Yep, we have some fun stuff planned. I, again, probably should have made sure it was working. It worked last time, so it'll probably work this time. The sound? I have a new video. It's not Star Wars, though. I'm sorry, but it is cool. Hey, Omar. Hello, Elon. I just saw a few of you guys the other day. I know I saw the Bonillas. I saw... Did I see Omar? I saw Omar. I know I saw you. At our drive-by, drive-through thing. Oh, yeah. Drive I forgot drive. we were doing that. Drop off. Drop off. Not drive -by. Well, while you guys are waiting for class to start, I think we're going to use a chair, so you might want to go grab one. Yes. Have a chair. Or something to balance on, really, right? Yeah. They're not going to sit in a chair, are they? No, 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 yeah. not, not for my balance. We, we've been using a chair. We're going to use a chair. It's probably recommended you use the chair. You just going to grab a chair real quick? You can use this one. That works too. I Whatever you it. prefer. There's a chair right in front of us, and I totally missed it. Hey there, Addy and Micah. Addy and Micah, Josie just did a great job in the last class with me, so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to do the same with us. Hey, you guys got to show her how it's done. Yeah. All right, exciting stuff. Let me go fix that. So, do, do we see everybody that gets on? Oh no, that's okay. We're gonna have another um, pickup. We're probably gonna start as early as tomorrow, actually. Do I just have to bring it back? I think What'd I. Do? <laughs> uh, what do you What do you do? <laughs> what has happened? <laughs> Oh, we're back. <laughs> okay. No more touching the technology. Oh, there's like three of me. Alright. <laughs> see who just joined us. Good to see you, Seth. I'm glad you made it. Good to see you, Mr. Mr. Thomas. I'm glad you're here today. Aaron? Yep, Aaron's here. Omar's here, too. Awesome. I guess we're ready to get started. But yes, um, real quick before I let you guys go, um, I do think uh, the parents who are listening... Now we're going to do some more of the belt drop off uh, soon. I think we're going to have to start with um, the hour before classes. I'm going to push out an official thing today about that, um, but I want to make sure some of the concrete details are worked out. So if you haven't got your belt yet, there's still a chance. You already got your belt. You rock. Let's get rid of this. All right, guys, it is time to get warmed up. Let's go ahead and put our feet together, hands by our side, and can I bow? Sir. From here, I want to hear those academy tits. Nice and strong. Can with me? I, I will demonstrate, demonstrate leadership, leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect, sir. Can they bow? Yes, sir. Good. Sir. All right, now from here, guys, we're going to hop a strong tune before me. We're going to get five awesome jumping jacks. Go! One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Excellent. From there, guys, we are going to, I guess we're going to hop straight into our warm up. Now, for our warm up, we're going to get some punches real quick, okay? I'm right here with my punches. I go one, two, three, four, five, six. After that, you're going to drop down to the ground and hop right back up. You are not flopping to the ground. You're dropping down like almost like you're going to get a push up, but you don't have to even get a push up, okay? So we're going to go all the way out and come all the way back up. All right, you get six more punches. Are you ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to drop all the way down, hop back up. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll drop all the way down. Come back up. We're going to get a few more guys. Is there a class plan right here? Okay. Hey there, Cameron and Jefferson. Hey there, Marshall. And hey there, Hunter. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and stop. Great job. We're going to go ahead and have a seat. Put both our legs straight out in front of us. Go ahead. 
reaching forward. All right. Hope you guys are all doing well. If you are not, this class will make you feel better. Guys, today, let's take one of our legs and we're gonna push it behind us. While both hands reach forward. All right, we're gonna switch legs. New leg in front and new leg behind. Guys, we are starting off class with a pretty fun drill. I'm excited. All right. From there, lays out to a big wide beat. Reach down the middle. And then let's get our 10 side to side stretches. Zach Fry. Oh, I just said Zach Fry is missing. I was like, oh, what? Hi, Zach Fry. <laughs> All right. 10 side to side stretches. Go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, last one, ten, sir. Great stretches, guys. Hello, Roran and Cameron. Down the middle and side to side on your own. This is a great stretch, very important, especially for today. I know I say it like every class, but I'm right. All right, there we go for the bottoms of your feet together. Would that matter if I stretch? Sure. All right, from here we're gonna hop up and we're gonna get five more jumping jacks. Go! Hop straight up. Five more. All right, great. From here, guys, go ahead and make some room for yourself if you don't already have it. We are going to be doing the form. Okay. Guys, for the form, what I need from you is to work on, all right, again, just the repetition of everything. Wink, wink. Chumbi. Hands to your belt. Left leg steps back. Low X block. Chumbi. Hands to your belt. Left leg steps back, low X block. High block, chin B. You're welcome. Hands to your belt. Left leg steps back, low X block. High block, punch, chin B. Hands to your belt. Left leg steps back, low X block. High block, punch. Turn, punch. Back to chin B. What are we doing? We are starting over after we add one move. We do the form, plus one, do the form, plus one, do the form, plus one, until we have completed the form. Is this gonna take a second? Yes. Is it gonna help you remember the form? I hope so. Let's see what we do. Hands to my belt, left leg is back, low X block. High block, punch, turn, punch. Everyone's favorite part, arm swing, and back with you and me. Hands to your belt, left leg steps back, low X block. High block, punch, turn, punch. Arm swing, palm strike. And again, we are back to chun B. Are you guys ready? Doing good? Hands to my belt. Left leg steps back. Low X block. High block, punch, turn, punch. Arm swing, palm strike. Back leg, front kick, land in front, and of course, we're back to chun B. Hello, Zoe. Hands to my belt. Left leg steps back. Low X block. Stay with me. High block. Punch, turn, punch, arm swing, palm strike, back leg, front kick, elbow strike. All right. Seth, I know where you live. <laughs> Hands your belt, left leg is back, low leg squat, high block, punch, turn, punch, arm swing, palm strike, back leg front kick, ah yeah. From here, high block and back to chun B. Okay, I'm sorry you guys had to see that. Seth decided that he wanted to boo me, and that's just not gonna work. I'm sorry. All right, chun B. Hands to your belt, left leg steps back, low X squat, 
High block, punch, turn, punch. Arm swing, palm strike. Back leg, front kick. Aya! High block, punch. And back to your B. Hands to my belt. Hi, Quinn. Left leg steps back. Low X walk. Make sure you say the moves. High block, punch, punch, turn, punch. Arm swing, palm strike. Back leg, front kick. Land. Aya! High block, punch, turn, punch. Oh, did I go too far? Rats, you guys got a free one in there. Same thing goes for you, Quinn. Jim B, hands to my belt, left leg steps back. I'll threaten kids all day. <laughs> Flex block, high block, punch, that sounds wrong. Turn, punch, arm swing, palm strike, back leg, front kick, land, ah, yeah, let me hear you. Come on, guys. High block, punch, turn, punch, arm swing, back to Jim B. We're almost done, guys. Hands to our belt. Left leg sits back. Low X block. High block, punch. Turn, punch. Arm swing, palm strike. Back leg, front kick, land. Ah! High block, punch. Turn, punch. Arm swing, palm strike. Back to Jim B. Hands to our belt. Left leg sits back. Low X block. High block, punch. What's next? Switch arm punch. Arm swing, palm strike. Back leg, front kick. Ah! Uh, high block. Punch. Turn punch. Arm swing, palm strike. From here, it's going to be back leg, front kick, and go back to shimmy. Hi. Please take one. That's right. Hi, Gunner. Guys, this is the final one. For the final one, you got to have strong moves. Strong moves the last time we're doing the form. Okay? How are we going to do? Are you going to be weak? Or are you going to be mighty strong like Captain America? Jimmy. Hands to your belt. Left leg to back. Low X block. High block. Punch. Turn. Punch. Bottom swing. Palm strike. Back leg front kick. Land. Ah! High block. Punch. Turn. Punch. Arm swing. Palm strike. Back leg front kick. And. Ah! Awesome. All right, guys, excellent job. I am going to, that is correct, hop off screen. I'm going to invite Mr. Crosby in here to work on some new stuff with you guys. Great job, and keep it up. Hey, everybody, it's so good to see you guys again. So we're going to get started with our self-defense for today, and you guys have been doing this, you've done it like a million times before. Uh, I'd like to take this and add a little bit more of a dynamic element just to get your heart pumping a little bit, and hopefully help you remember the actual moves better by doing it in a more fun way. So let's do just the basic self-defense first. Drop. In your, in your self defense stance, hands up, leaning slightly back in your left leg. So, if you remember, all our self defense techniques are from somebody coming in with a hook punch. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pretend someone's come back and step in with a huge hook punch. Level one, I have a lot of space between me and them, and I'm not ready to engage. So, I'm going to step back to give myself some time, and I'm going to keep my hands up just in case I don't step back far enough. Pass their arm, grab it from, is going to punch, and step back with your hands up. Now when you do this, make sure you're not just standing here and using your hands like that. That's super boring and it will not help you in an actual self-defense situation. I want you to use your feet. Make sure you're in a really good stance. And when you do it, you actually step back and then step in for your punch and then hop back, hands up. So let's do that one more time on the other side. Hands up, dodge back, pass, grab with your back arm, punch with the front arm. And that was level one. So let's go on level two real quick. Level two, this time we're in really close and we're ready to do our block. So what we're going to do is as the person comes in for the hook punch, step in, hands up. One hand will go right about their wrist, other hand right below their shoulder. One more time, step in and the closest arm to their face, we'll do it back. So let's do that. Big hook punch comes in, step in, block, and we're not shot, back fist. Other side, you ready? Let's set, step in, block, and back fist. Very good job. Time for level three, and then we'll move on to what we're actually going to be doing today. Uh, level three is for when we're in super duper close and we want to stay safe. Hands up right here. They throw a punch. I'm in too close to do this, and I freak out. Hand up right here to guard the back of my head. What I want to do is get my, my forearm as close to my shoulder as possible so it almost blocks everything. Leave no gaps for a punch to get through, and put it right here to guard my head. Most important part here is I jump in. If I stand right here, they're gonna have a lot more force, and even if they hit me right here, it's still gonna hurt, it's gonna knock me over to the side. Make sure I jump in, elbow up, this hand, 
is ready for the uppercut. When you do your uppercut, make sure to twist your hips into it to get a lot of power as you push up. Don't just do this. That's lame and won't help you at all. So let's practice that one more time. Other side, hands up and ready. Now do the hook punch or jump in, block, uppercut, and step back, hands up. Very good job. Now we're going to go on to what, we're, what I'd actually like to do for self-defense today to make this a little bit more interesting. All we're going to do is add in some burpees and some jumping jacks to make it a little bit more fun and get the heart pumping. So let's try this. Level one, I'm going to step back, block, grab, punch, and then after that, I'm going to jump out. One, two, three, switch to my other leg. Now from this side, just dive back, block, grab, punch, one, two, three. Are you guys ready? We're doing this five times together. Leg one, get ready to sit in. Block, grab, punch. One, two, three. Level two, dodge back. Block, grab, punch. One, two, three. New leg. You guys ready? Dodge back. Block, grab, punch. One, two, three. New leg. Get ready. Dodge, block, grab, punch. One, two, three. I think this is level five. Dodge back. Block, grab, punch. One, two, three. Very well done. Now it's time for level two. Level two, we're going to add in a burpee. As I do my block, and my back foot. First of all, we're gonna do elbow and knee strike just for fun, so let's practice that part. Jump in, block. Back fist, that's the normal part. We're gonna add elbow, knee strike. After that, I'm gonna shoot in the floor. Burpee, up, hands up. Are you guys ready? We're gonna do this one five times again. First leg, get ready, get to the hand step and block. Back fist, elbow, knee strike, burpee, new leg in front. Get ready, get set and block. Back fist, elbow, knee strike, burpee. New leg, um, elbow this side, block, back this elbow, knee strike, burpee, new leg, get ready, set, block, strike, 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 burpee, new leg, get ready, set, last one, block, back this elbow, knee strike, and burpee, and relax, take a deep breath, grab yourself some water for level three. You guys are killing it last level this time. We're going to do the exact same thing as last time, but adding a push up at the bottom. And when we stand up from the burpee, jump, pulling our knees up. Are you guys ready? Get set. And go. Jump and shield. Uppercut. Shoot down for the burpee with a push up. Up high in the air. New leg in front. Hands up and up. Let's do this. Block. Uppercut. Burpee with your push up. Hop up in the air. Aya! Let's add an eye out of the last one. Are you ready? Block. Uppercut, burpee with push up, up high in the air. Get ready and set, block, uppercut. Burpee with push up, high in the air. Last one, block, uppercut, burpee, jump. <sighs> and relax, I'm out of breath. Grab yourself some water for our next drill. All right, if you've got a chair in your house, go grab one of those, Mr. Adams. May I sit the chair? No. <laughs> okay, Joey. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? Let's do this. So we're going to start working on our kicks. Level one, we're going to practice our balance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop into a fighter stance right here. Lean my weight backwards. The most important part, we're going to be doing front kicks first. So don't worry about pivoting your foot. Just have it loose, resting on the ball of your back foot. I want this hand next to my chair, and I'm going to use it for balance if I need it to catch myself but do your best not to use it. So level one, pick up your knee and hold it. Mr. Adams, are you gonna get a 20 second timer? I would love to get a 20 second timer. I was born to make 20 second timers. Very good ones, Mr. Adams, get some timers there, we'll get ready. Set, and go, knee up. If you can, keep your hands up, elbows tight. Don't go out like this chicken wing style. 10 seconds left, keep holding it. Elbows in tight, knee up. Keep your back like bent just a little bit. That'll help with your balance. If you're all the way extended, you're gonna lose it and relax. Other side. Get ready. Get set. And balance. Go. Knee up. Hands up. Elbows tight. If you want to look the way you're pointing, that's awesome. Halfway there. Ten seconds left. Keep holding it. Hands up. Try to keep them above your chin. It's a really good discipline. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. All the way down. Okay, now we're going to move on to a new level. This time we're going back to that first foot. But instead of just holding a bounce, we're going to kick. As we do this now, I don't care how many kicks you get, I just want them to be good and kind of slow. Ideally, I want you to count to three 
as you kicked out, and then count to three as you pull back and sit down, holding your balance each time you're Are you guys ready? Hands up, elbows tight. If you fall over, that's okay. The chair's there to catch you. Are you ready? Hit set, hand go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And set down. That's fine. Pick up your knee. And as you kick out, one, two, three. Pull back. One, two, three. And set down. One more time with that kick. Pick up your knee. Press out. One, two, three. One, two, three three, and set down. Very good job, guys. Now we're going to move on to the other foot. Front kicks again on our new leg. Hands up, elbows tight. Very good balance. Keep your back like bent a little bit. This hand can catch the chair if you need to get ready. Get set, and pick up your knee. We're going to do three of these kicks. Hands up. One, two, three. Out. One, two, three. Back in and sit down. Get ready again. Pick it up. One, two, three. One, two, three, and sit down. Very good job. Last kick on this leg. Pick up your knee. One, two, four. One, A, D. And set it down. Very good job, everybody. And that is what we got on the front kick. See how we doing on this? Very good job. And now we have time for one more. This time we're going to go to round. We're going to skip straight past our holding step and just do the kicking out, counting to three. Okay? And this time I'm not going to count out loud. You can go at your own pace with those. Hold as long as you need to to get a really good practice on your kick, but don't go for three seconds if you don't need to, or if you can't do that without messing up. I want you to do good kicks, not, I don't want you to hurt yourself for no reason. Are you guys ready? One hand ready to catch yourself, hands up, pick up your knee, counting by yourself. Mr. Adam, timer when you're ready. And go, counting out your kicks by yourself. Pressing out, and pulling them back in, and set it down. Get ready for the next kick, readjust your foot. One thing I forgot to mention is make sure you're pivoting your back foot during a round kick. My back toes on this foot are pointed that way. Pulling your kick back, hands up, and sit down. Very good. And we're all out of time for those. One more time on this leg. Round kicks. Are you guys ready? Get set, point it, and go. Very good job. And pull it back, sit down, and unpivot my back foot. As I pick up my leg in, practice turning your back foot. Oh, there goes my balance for a second. And press out. Pull back and sit down. Very good job, guys. One more fast kick for front and sit it down. Very good job, everybody face me. Big bow. You guys killed it on those drills. One thing I, I want, one thought I'd like to plant in your guys' mind is we always talk about having leadership here. We talk about it at a school for those of you who run school. And um, but also we talk about having it at home. You guys have been stuck at home for forever. I cannot wait to see you guys again. But as you're at home, look for opportunities to show the leadership to your siblings and to your parents because that's what really counts is at home. If you can't show it to your siblings or your parents at home, you can't show it when you're here or at school or when you're older and you have a job. So today I went to North class, go look for an opportunity to make your parents or your siblings have a great day. Thank you. I'm going to hand it back to Mr. Adams. I'll finish you guys off. Great job. All right, guys. Excellent, excellent work. Let me... Angle this up just ever so slightly and then move back. Hey guys, working on some sparring moves. Go ahead and hop into a sparring mindset. Um, awesome. So we're right here in my sparring set. The first thing we're working on is a three move combo. If you are a white and yellow belt taking class, awesome, good to have you. However, what I need for you guys to do is come up with a creative combo that just feels fun. Now, guys, what I challenge you to work on is sparring only moves, okay? So, for example, an elbow strike. That wouldn't happen in sparring, okay? Um, so we want to stay away from those kind of moves, all right? So sparring moves, you have three moves. We're going to set a one-minute timer? One-minute timer. All right. When I say go for this timer, what I want you guys to do is to go through and just make sure that your sparring looks great, okay? Um, again, three-move combo only. You're going to do that three-move combo over and over again. If you have not thought of a new three-move combo from last time, now is your time to work on it and make it look good. We are dedicating one whole minute to making sure that it looks amazing. Ready? And go. Again, don't copy my move. Work on your moves, okay? Work on your three-move combo. We're going to go through this time zone, okay? You're making your own three moves. For example, front kick, round kick, spin side kick. That's an example, but you're making yours. 
I try to make the blocks a little less happening now because blocks don't really count as moves. Um, yeah, work out a three move combo, guys. Twenty seconds left. How's it looking? Keyboard doesn't move counter. Don't be just sitting there. Don't be just sitting there. Don't be wasting time. Use this time to make your triple move combo look amazing. Keep it up. Just ten seconds left. Okay. Time is up, guys. Excellent job. Now we're gonna move on to a four move combo. Here is your challenge. Don't use your last three moves and just add one, all right? Make a completely different combo. Completely different, brand new moves, okay? An example of one could be two kicks, two hand techniques. It could be three kicks and one hand technique. It could be three hand techniques and one kick. It can be whatever you guys want. Be creative. Again, we're not doing things like elbow strikes. We're trying not to do blocks as much. We want more moves. If that part's easy, if I've said those things, you're just like easy, easy, lemon, squeezy, your, your challenge is to add in some movement, okay? Make sure you're not just standing still, moving around, okay? All right, here we go. One minute, working on a four move combination. Whatever you want, don't copy me, make your own combo. Your own combination. Switch legs if you feel the need to. Not required. Um, you can add some movement if you want to. Like right now, I'm not moving as much. Okay? Um, but I want you guys to have a four move combo if you like. 20 seconds left. Work on your combination right now. This is time that you're, you're putting towards making your combo look good. It can be whatever you like. Do not just copy mine. I want it again. All right, time is up. That was your four move combo. We've done a three move combo, then we did a completely different four move combo. Are you running out of ideas? I hope not, because the next one is a five move combo. For that five move combo, this is gonna be the most advanced one. All right, it's gonna be a lot more moves. You might have to do some double moves. For example, like a double round kick, all right? You can choose whether or not that counts as two or one, that's up to you. Um, however, try your best to come up with five moves in a creative form. Again, is this a creative form? One, two, three, four, five. Not really. Did that look like a really cool black belt worthy form? Uh, I'm sorry, sparring skill? No, it didn't at all, okay? So try to make one that's good for your level, okay? Again, I, I, I expect everything's from high ranking black belts, from orange belts, okay? Not that you should, not that I need like bad stuff from orange belts, but make sure we have a good look stuff. Five move combos. Let's uh, go. Five move combo, guys. Go, go, go. Five move combo. You can't just copy me, all right? Try your best. Remember, it's different from your three move, it's different from your four move, and it's gonna be its own thing for the five move combo. Try your best to get through it, guys. I believe in you, okay? This is time dedicated to working on this because I know you're not working on it right now. With your free time. Okay, almost there, 20 seconds left. How does your four, five move combo look? How does that five move combo look? It can be anything you want. You can add some spin kicks, some jump kicks, you don't have to have those. That's the thing about creativity, guys. It's all up to you. If you need some help, you can always ask an instructor or your parents for some help. I know your parents are like, what? Don't ask me. You've got this, parents. I believe in you. All right, guys. Time is up for that. We have one more thing that we are doing today that is a little bit of a, a game. All right. Now, I don't want to necessarily give you the game um, because some of you guys are typing game in the chat. Guys, when it comes to these classes, your job is to just hang out here and take the class. If we have you guys doing anything in the comments, then usually we just need your parents to do that. Or if you can, you're gonna be quick. If you're gonna spend your class on the phone typing, you're, you're losing the point of this. That's not the point of the classes. 
to look at us on the phone. The point is to put the phone up and participate in class. All right? I hate to get ugly. I hate to get mean. I just want to make sure we're all doing the same thing. Because if you guys are not doing these classes, when we get back, it's going to be rough. Not because I'm going to be like mad at you guys. It's just, you're not going to be caught up. All right. Let's see if I can get it going. All right. You joining me? Sure. This is the duck jump avoid challenge. Great job, guys. 
Super proud of you guys. Um, excellent work today. Uh, we're out of here. If you survived, great job. Give us a thumbs up if you survived. See you later. See you later.